Hey guys, movie fan here to tell you something very interesting that I've never talked about before. Now, if you've been watching my channel, then you already know that, you know, I'm obviously an average looking guy. I am no Mr. Galaxy. I am no supermodel. I am, uh, well, I'm no skinny mini. Let's just be honest with each other here. I am definitely no skinny mini. And like so many people who have struggled with losing weight, I've had my ups and downs with it. In fact, I'll be honest with everybody, I am technically moderately obese, as the charts say. Well, anyway, I decided to try something a little new because, you know, I have used to go to the gym, but then 2020 hit, and well, there you go. And the biggest problem for me, like so many other people, is, you know, getting to the gym when you're so busy with what you do. And on top of that, my biggest problem, and I do mean my biggest problem, was eating right. Because, I'll be honest with everybody, I am no herbivore. I cannot stand vegetables. I really cannot. I'll eat corn, which is considered a vegetable. I'll eat peas. I'll eat potatoes, which is more starchy, but it is considered a vegetable if you do it a certain way, I guess. I don't know. But it is technically on the list. But I won't touch anything else. Now, as you can guess, that would cause some more problems other than weight gain. And I'm going to leave it at that, because that's uh, going to come up a little later. Anyway, I decided to try something a little new, and that would be to make celery juice. Now, if you haven't heard of it, basically it's just what it says. You're juicing celery with a juicer. And, of course, you get out all kinds of little flavors, like you could grind up a little thing of ginger in there. Me, I prefer to use green apples. They're very good and very reliable, and they mix oh so well with this thing. But anyway, I decided to give that a whirl. But I want to say one thing first. Before I did that, I did some pretty extensive research as to if it would be good for me or not. And I recommend that you do the same. Don't just take my word for it, because I am no nutritionist. I am not a bodybuilder, as you could tell. I am no health nut. So again, do your research. That's very important. And I did extensive research through multiple videos on YouTube and multiple websites talking about celery juice. And well, every one of them literally said the same thing. And well, when every one of them literally say the same thing, they, it's got to be true, right? And in this case, yeah, yeah, it was. And if you want to do a little extensive research on that, I'll give you a start. If you've ever seen a channel called The Bright Side that talks about stuff like this, I'll put the link below so you can find it. They give a great detail. I've actually shared it with a few friends, and they're very impressed by it. Now, again, do your research, but that'll get you started. Anyway, I had a juicer about three years ago, but I fell off the wagon, as they say, and I couldn't commit myself to the idea. But this time, I'm definitely committed to it, and I've been doing this for over a month now, and the results have been very good. And I even tested my waistline by getting the old uh, tape measure. And I'm talking the tape measure you use to measure clothing. When I started this, it was February the 6th. I wrote down my progress on my phone here. And when I started, I was 265 pounds, and... I was literally 49 and a half inches all around. Now I'm down to 255 pounds and 42 inches all around. So that's a very big deal. And it's actually done a lot more for me than you think. Now the bright side can explain a lot better, but I've been told that my skin has cleared up a good sum. And I, I don't know, because truth be told, I've looked in the mirror before. I don't see any difference on that. But I mean some friends and family have told me that, so okay. And I've also been a lot more alert, more energetic, and well, here's an important thing here. I was uh, suffering from a constipation issue for about two years now, and that has literally cleared that whole thing up, because the acid that is in celery juice, let's just say it breaks that up. So therefore, you know, you're not constipated anymore. And that is a very big deal for a lot of people. And I think that's contributed a lot to my weight loss. And it's also been said that celery juice breaks up bloating. And I can testify to that because, again, 
I was 49 and a half inches. Now I'm 42. So obviously whatever bloat that was in my stomach is reduced greatly. So anyway, I do recommend that, you know, if you have a juicer, make use of it and make some celery juice. It has really helped out a lot. I have one of these every day, especially when I go to work. And it's really simple. All you got to do is just juice quite a few bottles for the week and store them in your freezer. But be sure to thaw one out each day in your refrigerator so you'll have it the next day. So why store it in the freezer? Because it'll keep longer. Because if you just have it in a bottle as is, well, unfortunately, the maximum shelf life would be three days at the most. Because don't forget, there's no preservatives in here. There's just celery juice and apple juice. The celery juice has done a lot for me, but I've also changed a few daily routines, which definitely helps. I'm telling you this because, you know, I don't want anyone to think that this is a, you know, a cure-all. Because it doesn't work that way. Any bodybuilder or nutritionist will tell you that, you know, to lose weight, you got to do more than just eat right. Now, in my case, I got a different job where I run around, I pick up stuff, I deliver them. Basically, I'm on the move. That's a very big deal. So obviously, me being on the go, well, that contributes to weight loss. And again, that's one of the reasons why I have to have my stuff be as mobile as possible because I'm on the move. And, of course, obviously, I'm avoiding going to places like Burger King, you know. Now, I know you're going to ask me, if you're not going to, like, Burger King, you must be going to Subway or something, right? No, no, because actually, because of all the inflation going on right now, I'm not going out to eat much at all. Because the fact is, if you go to Burger King or Subway or anywhere, it adds up. And, obviously, the inflation that's going on right now is not helping. So, obviously, no, I'm not doing that at all. Instead, what I've been doing is making, well, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, I've been making one per day and eating one per day for lunch. And I'll admit, I haven't exactly been having breakfast because, you know, I I need to keep going. I need to keep mobile. And, well, they do say that if you lay off um, eating a little, just to eat a little bit less, then you're on your way to losing weight. Now, I know a lot of people probably would not recommend this, but, you know, I have gone through this before for years. And, you know, just not having much for breakfast. And truth be told, when I have my lunch, it's somewhere around um, 10 to 11 o'clock. So it kind of evens it out. And actually, this makes you feel full, at least for a while anyway. I'm six foot four, so it might be a little mm, to me, but... That's one of the key things. This helps you feel full. So, in a way, this is my breakfast. You know, I'm having this every morning when I'm at work. And, you know, I have my peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch. And then I have my dinner at, you know, five or six, depending. I highly recommend that if you got a juicer, give it a try. And if you don't have a juicer, well, you could get one. They do sell all kinds pretty cheaply. And if you don't want one, but you got a blender, use it. There's actually a recipe for, you know, baking this sort of thing in a blender. And I'll put the link below so you can find that. So if you want to lose weight, then give it a try. It actually works a lot better than you might think. Stay tuned because I'll be making a video showing you how I make my juice and pretty much all the tips that could help you out in the process. But until then, this is Movie Fan signing off.